Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin with the Scrapbook Blessings Club and today I am sharing with you how to work with photos that come out wrong. So I have three photos here. The bottom photo was not processed correctly in the printing process and instead of asking them to redo it because I didn't look at the photos for a while after I got them in the mail, I decided I was going to make it work. And so I'm going to line up these three 4x6 photos and you'll see how I work with the issue on the right hand side. These photos are very similar, um, especially the top one and the bottom one. Also I wanted to mention for this layout I got a lot of inspiration from Kira. She is on Instagram, that's where I follow her most. She does have a YouTube channel as well. Um, I'll have her Instagram and stuff linked down below if you want to check her out. But She does the ripped paper technique which I've been wanting to try forever now. And I finally did it on this layout. So it's really great to get that uh, technique tried out. For my background, it is a craft pattern paper with white polka dots. And that's from Kaiser Crafts Finders Keepers Collection. The floral paper that I cut is from Fancy Pants Designs Dream Big Collection. I believe both of these are fairly older collections. Um, I don't keep up with what's the newest collection from each company. That's not my style to buy collections anyway but I went to a local craft store in my new area. So if you're in Maryland, check out the local craft stores because there are some great ones. So I went to my local one and they have this on clearance. So I picked up some stuff from the Finders Keepers collection by Kaiser Craft, including the 6x6 paper pad, which I'm working with now. There's cute cut-aparts and pop-outs in that paper pad. So Kaiser Craft paper pads are amazing. This is my first one, but I love it already. So I'm going through my die cut boxes now. I'm looking through some Chanel die cuts that I pick out. I picked out a heart. Um, I'm not sure what else I picked out from this collection, but I picked out a couple things from all my die cuts and this little wreath. That's from We Are Memory Keepers Flower Girl collection. And I'm realizing that my die cut organization could be a lot better. I have some things that are in the original packaging, some things that are in these little bins, so really got to work on that. As I glue this big piece down, you'll see that the other pattern side's very um, subtle. And uh, I do end up using the rest of this paper that I cut off in an accompanying layout, so definitely be on the lookout for that video coming up soon. But I added some washi tape to the top left of that floral paper. And I really liked how it brought in a little bit of a different pattern. Because I have the polka dots, I have the floral and you need some different differentiation sometimes because that's like all I use is polka dots and florals. So I'm going to put the middle photo on some fun foam which does mess up the straightness a little bit because if it wasn't on fun foam it would be easier to line up better but other than that it worked out great because <laughs> I have to fix the top one and then there's a space on the top one. It's fun. So like I said these photos are very similar but I love the way this layout turned out. It didn't have a plan from the beginning other than I wanted to use these photos and these two papers, the polka dot and the floral. So if you guys are new to my channel, I like to mix collections. I never buy full collections. The closest I've come to buying the full collection is getting most of a collection in a grab box. But other than that, I don't buy collections um, or even those smaller, like, you know, I can get those like packs that come with like six sheets of paper and then a couple embellishments and a sticker sheet and stuff. I don't even buy those. They're just not my thing. I like mixing and matching a lot. I do buy paper pads, which is kind of like a collection, but without the embellishments. So I do like to mix and match. Here I'm filling out some Project Life rub-ons. And I realize the bottom right corner's cut off more, but I'll go into explaining that more when I go to glue it down. I am going to glue down this tag from Kaiser Craft and staple a little staple from Tim Holtz into it. And I believe it says, fill today with love and laughter. Um, again, from the Kaiser Craft paper pad. I didn't know their paper pads had punch outs until I looked through the one in the store that I was in, but um, definitely like that a lot. So a little tip with the Tim Holtz uh, tiny attachers, you can staple in the middle of papers. It is a little difficult, like here I'm bending over the pieces on the other side, but it works like a normal stapler where you can take it apart and still put it on. So you saw the photo earlier where the processing went wrong and it was red instead of the beautiful green and blue it was supposed to be. So what I did was made a beautiful embellishment cluster. Now since these three photos are very similar, 
it didn't matter to me if a little bit of it got covered up. So like I'm crossing into my boyfriend's shoulder, which really takes away from the photo. But everybody gets the gist of this page due to the other photos on it. So that's my tip today. Don't always throw away the photos. Um, in my case, it was probably way too late to ask for a refund or get them reprinted by the person I did. Um, and this has happened a couple times with them for different processing reasons. It really doesn't bother me. I'm not going to go and say anything about it because it's always just one photo in the batch. Must have been something wrong with the ink that was printing them. Here I found these beautiful uh, diamond and different shaped jewels from this stickers pack. And I really love how this turned out because this was when we went to a mine in New York. And it was really fun. So I wanted to put the little jewels around because it makes sense because we're at a diamond mine. And uh, the bottom cluster also has a typewriter, which is from the Chanel collection, some resin flowers, which I buy online, and another punch out from the Kaiser Craft paper pad. I will have photos over on the blog, which will be in the description if you want to know more. I know that sometimes these videos go by fast. I've been trying to make them longer because I did have some requests to make longer videos. So that's I'm working on that for you people. I included a small ampersand from the puffy stickers which you saw earlier and those were by Fancy Pants. This was actually a challenge page. I made this for the Victoria Marie online crop. So if you're looking for fun, come join us at the Scrapbook Blessings Club and over at Victoria Marie Facebook group. Lots of good challenges on Facebook. You should definitely come join us. Uh, here I'm working on the title. I won't explain much of it because this is nothing what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have the right colors. So for that floral paper, you can't read anything that's white on it because it's such a light color anyway. So I had to find something else to use because I want to use my thickers. My smaller alphabet sets are dwindling. I have a lot. You've seen me pull out my alphabet stacks for my little alphabets. But they're nothing that I love, and I really should get rid of them, but I don't. I really should, but I don't. So instead I put out these gold thickers in a cursive scripty font with the mint foam around the edges and put mine, so like the mine we are at. And then I use the puffy stickers again. So these ones again are from Fancy Pants. I picked them up at Tuesday morning. And I use those to write in the. So that's how I got my title. Um, the hardest part with this was I ripped the photo or ripped the paper there. I originally was going to put a cluster of embellishments there, but what I decided to do instead was put my title there. So it had to be a very short title. I wanted it to be, to be related to the photos. There's not going to be like any other photos, or yeah, photo sets that I'd put in the mine on. Because I realized some of my titles are very, what should I say, basic. <laughs> They're very like, oh, hello lovely, or another adventure. I need to stop doing that because I have all these letters and I have a whole dictionary full of words that I could use to describe these events. To finish off this project, I'm using some enamel dots. I think I used the white ones. Yeah, I use white enamel dots from Paper Studios. So if you want more details, head over to Scrapbook Blessings Club where you can read the whole blog post. Until then, please subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!